Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back with two cat themed journals and I would love to flip through them and show them to you. They are very much alike and I'll go through one and then the other. This, um, they are constructed and put together very much like the dog journals were that I just, uh, that I just did. I consider them kind of a series. So they are a fabric covered paper bag and what I call my little cutie style. So they're about six inches tall by just shy of, or just about five inches wide. I sewed the fabric on both sides of the paper bag and put some eyelet covering the spine. And I, yeah, eyelet trim, vintage, and eyelet closures. And I put a couple of different uh, ribbons on here for closure. And then I opted with the yarn because I thought that was a really fun thing and kind of a nod to cats. I know cats, um, cats love yarn. I put, I made a little cluster similar to the one that I made on the dog journals. Let me get you up close here. I, you know, I think my lighting and my angle may be a little different on this video. So if it's, if it's difficult to see, I do apologize for that. Um, there are three charms and a little beaded dangle that I made. You can see that. Okay. And it removes very easily with a bulb pin. So you can put it somewhere else. If you'd like, you can add a topper if you prefer to put something else on there. Uh, I thought these could be, if you are a cat person and have had cats in your life, this would be a nice journal for you to use to journal about the cats that you've owned and loved and put pictures in the pockets and such. So you might want to put a picture on the front cover as well. So. I didn't do any fancy toppers, plus the fabric is so cute. Okay, so on the inside is the library card pocket, and this is the same library card, or library card in this eyelet pocket, the same library card that I made for the dog journals, because it has both a cat and a dog, so I kind of felt like this was a little bit of a series of four journals. And this one also he has that cute kitty cat and this is a card that uh, features this pretty kitty cat and then on this page I made a multi-fold pocket and I printed I used on one side an image of all different kinds of yarn in the colors of the journal so that's kind of a fun thing. In the very back here, I have a blank tag with some yarn. And it. I have. The, I also made the side of it into a tuck. So there's an open space back here that I do not have anything in. So there's more pockets than I have used here. So this blank tag with yarn topper, a pretty vintage recipe card, this is Milkman Mo. He is a, from an old maid deck. Is that funny with all the cats all over him? Trying to get at those bottles of milk. And then a little faux cat sticker, um, cat stamp that says the cat's meow. This is some coffee dyed paper, some scrapbook paper. And oh my goodness, this adorable vintage image. And yet another one from a vintage greeting card that I made into a tag. And it I added the sentiment, treasured sweetness. And it is lined with paper for um, journaling. And I did on these journals stencil, lightly stencil all the white backgrounds with what I thought looked like kind of a cat print. This is a vintage uh, a vintage reader, a little page from a vintage reader. And here's a little box of cats, scrapbook paper. This is um, a tiny tabby faux button card that I did sew two real mother of pearl buttons on there for eyes. Isn't that fun? 
This is a, an image from a digital craft by Craftique Redo on Etsy, and I will credit it in the description box. And this is an image from the Graphics Fairy. So once again, I pretty well used images from greeting cards in my own collection, the Graphics Fairy, a button card image from Craftique's Redo, and the rest, I mean, are mostly public domain images. So um, I don't think I any, used any true digitals in this puppy dog or kitty cat series. There's some stationary paper. This is a paper bag, and inside it's got the cats having a tea party, a little bit of yarny flu-flu here, trim on the paper clip, and inside is a tea bag, a stress therapy cinnamon chamomile lavender tea. As our pets are such stress relievers for us, I thought this was a fun type of tea to add to my journal in all of my journals you always receive some sort of tea bag that's kind of my something I like to do here's a little faux stamp on the corner here that I made a page tab from and this fun um, quote that says every life should have nine cats isn't that fun okay instead of every cat has nine lives every life should have nine cats thought that was a fun thing. Here's a little vintage image from a Three Little Kittens book and um, some very old artist paper, I think from like a Somerset Studio book or something like that. I got it in a magazine. And this is an over-the-page um, junk mail envelope. And on this side, I made this cute tag from a vintage greeting card and a fun um, applique and Liberty of London fabric topper and it fits right inside of this window here so those kittens can look out. This is a page from some uh, scrapbook paper that I have had in my stash for I'd swear 20 years if not more and I have no idea the source of it but is that just not so cute. And I only had one piece left that was enough for a page in each of these journals. So I was happy about that. Okay, I have a little scrap there. Some faux stamps I used as an edging there. And in the middle is the three little kittens. I have beads, some pretty seed beads, and some cat charms on the ends of the signature ties. There are 30 pages, which equals 62 sides in this journal. One signature. This is a decoupaged napkin. I found this beautiful package of kitty cat napkins on a vacation. And where was I? I think I was in Dallas and we were going through a couple of thrift stores and I found this and I thought, I've never made cat journals, but if and when I do, I'm going to want these napkins. And then I just added a little um, cat vintage flash card with, and added some vintage Rick Rack to the top to put in the pocket. And it's also a side tuck, so there is room for putting more either behind this or in the pocket. So there's lots of room to add your own photos and journaling here. It's the back side of that scrapbook paper, this adorable image. And this is a um, little envelope. I sell these envelopes in my shop. They are perfect tucks and pockets for journals. And I emboss this with, it's supposed to look like knitting. So um, kind of a yarn themed embossing folder there. Some more writing. And this sweet, sweet image, this is from the Graphics Fairy and it says, heaven's the place where all the cats you've ever loved come to greet you. And I have the same saying in the dog journals for dogs. And I it's just, I just love that, it's very dear saying. Okay, this is the back side of the paper bag, and I have this 
vintage playing card in there, this little cat. And it is also a tuck spot. So you could tuck something there. You could glue something on here. I kind of left it. I just clipped him on there in case you wanted to do something differently. And then in these pockets, tied with string, are these two sweet tags with these vintage images. And the string hangs out over the side of the journal. And string is something else that always makes me think of cats, yarns and string and anything like that. This is just a little um, cat from the napkin that I added to the back there. You know, I didn't. I said I didn't use any digitals, but I did use my burlap digital, not mine, but the burlap digital that I use in most of my journals, and I will credit that source in the description box. It's from an Etsy shop as well. Here's a little catnip image tuck spot with a little envelope. I think I received this in a Happy Mail one time, and I just put some extra little faux stamps in here of cats. This could be used as a pocket if you wanted to, or just tucked in there with goodies or photographs or whatever. This is a fold out for lots of journaling. Could be a great place to tell the story of a of a cat that you owned, or and you could even tuck you know a photograph in there or glue a photograph in there. This is a belly band, and it's got this adorable image. This is from a St. Patrick's, a vintage St. Patrick's Day card that is like my favorite thing. Aren't they the cutest? It's just tucked in there. And then on the very back page is this tag that I created with this gingham topper, and it's got a charm and some beads on a bulb pin. And it's kind of like a little fabric flip, although you could glue that all the way down if you wanted to, or you could write something in there. And this is uh, just a piece of the fabric that was left in this pocket. And then, of course, the very back pocket is the paper bag opening. And this is the back of this journal. And... As with all of my journals, you will receive a package of offcuts. And this has some more of um, the napkin and just some papers and a tiny little piece of fabric and an applique and several charms. So this is cat journal number one as it is listed in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds. And it is, they are currently in there. So cat journal, sorry, <laughs> cat journal number one. Let's look at number two and we'll look at it quickly because it's very much the same. So again, the, the dangles on the cover, all of the same fabric in almost the same location as journal number one. Okay, I'll get our little yarn ties straight here. Okay, there we go. There is a little bulb pin that says made with love on this front pocket on both of them. This is the welcome library card there. Okay. Same images, same elements in the pockets. Old Milkman Mo. Sweet Kitties, and the tag. Vintage buttons, uh, Mother of Pearl shell buttons sewn onto this tuck. And the journal card from the Graphics Fairy image. This is the paper bag that holds the tea bag. Little tab there. 
A sweet image of the cats with the quote. This is a different element in this one. Um, I used a time card and this quote, cats don't have owners, they have staff. Now I thought the time card was pretty cute. And I just, in the side, I tucked in this um, little Project Life card. And then in here is a kitten card from a, an old game and some tickets. This is the three little kitten sheet music with the signature charms and beads. This is the over the page pocket and window from a junk mail envelope and the handmade tag. Three little kittens journaling card. This is an envelope with um, extra tickets. It has the pink tickets in here as well as the um, faux cat stamps. Every life should have nine cats. This is the same element here with tags and string toppers that tuck into the pocket with the vintage playing card that removes with a safety pin, um, sorry, paper clip. Little decoupage from the napkin, a little cat back here. Sorry, I'm scooting. This is the decoupaged bag with the vintage card, flash card. This one says the kitten is small. The word was small. So I tuck that in there, just put a little topper on there. Page from the children's reader that has cats, kittens, and actually this goes in journal. This goes in journal number one, I apologize. Um, this journal has a card, a fun vintage card that the other journal, this vintage card that the other journal does, did not have because I only have one of those cards. I have one of these cards. This goes in the other journal. So I apologize. That will be something if you order journal number one that will be part of your journal. <laughs> okay, so here's some cats. A little journaling card. This adorable vintage illustration in the embossed pocket envelope. This is the fold out with journaling space and some light stenciling. The belly band with the adorable vintage kitty cat journal card. And then in the back is the fabric little cat tag with the charm and the gingham topper. And the back envelope or um, paper bag pocket and this is I'm gonna just take this off so you can see it maybe okay and then this is the dangle here it's got the little cat's eye heart and a few beads and three charms and you can as I said you can just Hang it on the on the tie or anywhere you'd like. So this is Kitty Cat Journal number two. This is journal number one. And they each come with their pouch of goodies. And they are currently listed in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds. So thank you for taking a minute to watch the flip through. I would love to hear feedback. I love getting uh, comments and please take a minute to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you enjoy what I post 
and, and enjoy looking at the journals. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you again, and I will see you soon with my next projects. Bye-bye.